Hey guys, this is Edward's Hobbies, and today got another nickel or penny box. This one's a little different because it's from a new bank. Nearly all of the coins I've gotten so far are from uh, Chase Banks, and I have an account at a North Shore Bank, and I usually dump coins there, but I was at a different branch of one, so I decided to ask for a penny box. And got a penny box, same sort of box, same sort of bonus rolls as my chase, so it could be from the same place, but I'll be hunting if there's no enders or anything, so I'll start on roll one, and bring you in on the first find. Also, I'll be taking out my copper, just because it's worth more. So we're on roll one, a roll I just pulled out, nearly an ender, look at this. 1925. First roll of the new bank. I think it's just a Philly. I do have a 25S though from Coin Roll Hunting. I'll get out my albums and briefly show you what I'll be looking for, but wow. First roll. First roll of the last penny box I did. I got a pre 40s too, but. That's old, and it filled a spot. Definitely will take that. So, I'll show you my Wheat Penny album and then Canadian album. Here's my Wheat Penny album. It's nearly full in the 40s and 50s over here. And then less full as you go back. But, as you can see, I do have 25S there. And yeah. 25, it's common, but still in circulation. 96 year old coin. I won't put it in yet, but that'll go there. I'll show you the Canadian. Here are my two Canadian albums. Here's the first one. Obviously, really nothing over here. Do got a couple King Georges, though. And then in the newer one, we have a lot more filled out. I'm just working on these, and all of these are just from coin roll hunting, which is cool. So, wow. That's a great find for the first roll. It'd be great if we get something like it, but... Knowing coin roll hunting, probably just got lucky. I'll keep hunting. Roll three, and I have another wheat penny already. 1950S. Pretty cool to see a dust minted scent. I'll keep hunting. Roll twelve. And got another wheat penny, 1950 Denver. Pretty cool. I was hoping we would get more because we started off with that great find, but still. So we're on roll 23 already. Slowed down quite a bit. It's those three wheat cents. I didn't see it at first, but we got a Canadian. 1981. I'm pretty sure we have that, but still cool to see a Canadian. Another find for the box. I'm bringing it back in. I'm done with 40 rolls already, and pretty much nothing since that Canadian in roll 23. P59s and 69S, and some 2009s. But three wheat cents. Like, hopefully we get more, or else this will be my lowest wheat cent box. But still, we got a good one, so... It's worth it. Hopefully we get something else in these last 10 rolls. I'm on roll 49, second last roll of the box, and I haven't had a wheat penny in like over 30 rolls. And finally, we get another one. 1957 Denver. Not bad shape, but pretty cool. Finally got a fourth wheat penny, but... I'll finish out this box. Hopefully we get something on the last roll. Roll 50, last roll of the box. I didn't get anything else in that. In roll 49. I thought I'd open it live just to see. Last roll of the box and it's been pretty slow. So watch there be like an Indian or something. Let me see some copper.
Um, let me go through these just real quick. Is this something? Yeah, just a 62. Um, I'll go through these. I won't pull the copper out right now. Just look to hopefully see if we can find something old. Look at that. Last roll of the box. On video. A 1955 Philly. Let me look. Yeah, it's not the double die. If it was, that would be amazing. I'll check in a minute to see if it's like the poor man's double die or something. But I'm really glad I filmed the last roll. Because it's always fun to find something on camera. Let me look through the rest of these real quick. Yeah. Now, that's a pretty nice 63. I won't pull it out for... Mm. Yeah, I'll put it out with the nice copper sense up there. I'll go back through these again. Another wheat scent. 1941. I don't I was just like, eh, maybe I'll film this last roll ju just for just for fun. Like, literally the slowest box I've ever had. Then in the last two rolls, we get three wheat cents. I'll go through these again and bring you back with a wrap-up. Two wheat cents in the same roll caught on camera. That's pretty insane. So we finished that penny box. There was a pretty decent amount of copper. Nearly a full cup. Um, even though there wasn't a lot of wheat cents. Uh, we got some nicer copper cents, some nicer zinc cents. Kind of cool tone on, but got two S minute coins, a 69S and 70S, four 59s, and a whole load of 2009s, but a lot of them were pretty corroded. Um, we did get that 1981 Canadian, pretty cool. And then the wheat scents, I'm pretty sure this is the, I think the lowest wheat scent box I got before this was was I think eight wheat cents and this is six so it is the lowest but the find of the box first roll there we got that 1925 it's in terrible condition but it does fill a spot in my album and it's a 96 year old penny and that last roll there I was like eh, I'll film it just for fun and got two wheat cents in the last roll also got that in the 49th roll but like a 30 some wheat roll drought for wheat cents. So, overall, it was a fun box. I'll probably get boxes from this bank when, when I don't want to annoy one of the other banks, one of the Chase banks that I usually get, but it wasn't great or anything. But quality over quantity in this. So, like, subscribe. Thanks for watching. Bye.